Functional behavior assessment and behavior intervention plans, both of which require parental or guardian consent. The functional behavior assessment and behavior intervention plans are used when there are behavior concerns for a student that is classified or in the process of being evaluated through the CSE office. A functional behavior assessment consists of indirect assessments, direct assessments, data collection, and analysis of data by trained professionals to determine the function of the target behavior. Indirect assessment includes records review, staff and parent interviews, rating scales, defining target behavior, and analyzing the data that's been collected. Records review gives us a better understanding of the student's history and any previous testing they may have had. Staff and parent interviews are important because we get the perspective of the staff and the parent regarding the behavior. The rating scales also is another way we get to a better idea of the when and where of behavior. Defining the target behavior is imperative because everyone needs to be looking at the same thing and documenting accordingly. And then finally, analyzing the data that's been collected. Direct assessment includes observation of the student across settings within the school environment. This could be anywhere in the school, lunchroom, classroom, in the hallways, at their services for occupational therapy or physical therapy, speech, uh, specials, music, gym, think anywhere the student can be in the school. Preference assessments is, are assessments that are used to find out what the student prefers so when we go to put in a reinforcement system, we are able to take that information and apply it there. Testing hypothesized function, which may or may not be necessary in a separate assessment. This really is based on each individual case. This may not always be necessary. Data collection across time, settings, people, and activities includes ABC data and baseline data. Data is collected across the student's day as they move through their schedule. ABC data is important. It helps us to understand what's going on before the behavior, what the behavior looks like, and then what happens immediately following the behavior. Baseline data of the target behavior is important because we take that baseline data and apply it when we're creating the reinforcement system and the behavior intervention plan. Data is analyzed by trained professionals. Behavior Intervention Plan, or BIP. A behavior intervention plan is a plan that comes following a functional behavior assessment. Trained professionals decide on interventions that are going to be used based on the function of the target behavior. Replacement behaviors to teach, reinforcement systems, specific instructions on how the staff should respond to specific target behavior, and how the target behavior will be tracked and proactive strategies for working with the student are included in the behavior intervention plan. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Megan Retchless, Director of Special Education, by email or by phone.